Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, quick video on installing Ubuntu uh, 22 uh, server. So this is my virtual machine. Uh, keep in mind that uh, I am using a Mac, uh, so VMware uh, for Mac. So for me, I have to click on install from disk or image. Um, the same applies to you, except you might be having a Windows interface. And then um, I will just continue. Uh, I already have the server uh, selected, so you should do the same. Uh, have the live server ISO uh, selected. Okay. And in my case, um, I will keep it as legacy BIOS. If you're using Windows, uh, you should not see this uh, option. Let's continue. Um, I have four gigs of RAM allotted for mine. But in your case, you might probably have two gigs, which is quite okay. So 20 gigs and four gigs, that's okay for a server. And then I'll click finish. I just need to save my virtual machine. Um, you could rename it if you wish. I will just keep the default. And, um, okay, this is Windows, this is um, Mac specific. So I'll just say okay. Okay. And it will start. Uh, the first thing it will do is to uh, ask me if I want to try or install. So I will simply select that um, option. And it will go through the process of um, running the startup installation. So this will this might take some time depending on the resources that you have on your machine. Okay. So let's wait. So you can see that we're using uh, Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, so it brings us to the option uh, to select our language. And so English is the default, which we want. So I will simply press enter. And the keyboard uh, by default, it was selected automatically to be English, which is what we want. So I will simply select done. Okay. And Notice that it's asking me if I want to install Ubuntu server. That's what the X means. So it is selected. So that's what I want. And so I will simply select done. Okay. Now, um, it will automatically uh, give me an IP address using DHCP. And so once that's done, then I will simply enter or hit done. Now, um, I don't care about a proxy, um, so that's unimportant right now. I'm just going to select done. Okay. Um, I don't care about that right now, so I'm just going to select uh, done. And it's asking me if I want to use the entire disk, meaning the entire 20 gigs. Yes. And so to move from there to the done option at the bottom, I'm just going to use the tab key. I'm going to do tab, 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 tab until I get to done and then enter. And then it's asking me, um, am I sure? Am I happy with the configuration I have set out? Yes, I am. And so I'm just going to select done. And then this is the important step. It asks me if I want to actually proceed. By default, it says no. But since I want to proceed, I will have to move it to continue, and then I will say enter. 
So here we put a name, and so I'm, I'm going to use my name. Okay, you can use your name. And then uh, let's create a name for the server. So um, I'm going to do tab, and I'm going to use maybe DDL as my server name. You can use whatever you want. Um, or maybe I could even call it Jaguar. All right, use whichever name you want. Just make sure that it's in small letters. And then I'm gonna pick a username. I'm gonna say D. Lewis. And then of course I need a password, okay? Make sure you do not forget your password. And then I will tab and select done. And I want to install OpenSSH server, yes. So I will, to select, I will click, uh, I will press the space bar on my keyboard. So space bar selects it, okay. And then I don't worry about importing SSH identity, not important. So I will just use tab, 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 and then enter, all right. Uh, I do not care about any of these um, packages right now. So I will just say tab to done and then enter. And when I do that, then it will say installing kernel. Now I will go ahead and I will pause the video because installing the kernel will take about 5 to 10 minutes. And so um, I'll just pause the video and resume when this is complete. Okay, so at the top here, it's telling me that install is complete. So let me do tab, and let me do tab, and let me reboot now. Okay, it's quite okay if it says failed on mounting forward slash CD-ROM, right? So all I have to do is just to say, or press enter. Let's press enter, all right? And that's all I need to do. And let's wait for it to reboot. Okay, now, um, if you do not see the prompt, right, uh, notice uh, I don't see the prompt uh, to log in, then what do I do? Well, all I have to do is to press the enter key. So here I'm just going to press enter, and then you see the prompt shows up. Okay, so I'm going to put in my username, so that's D. Lewis, and then I'll put in my password. Notice my password will not be shown on the console. Okay, so it will not be shown. All right, I think I'm, yeah, yeah, good. So that's my password. Um, it's shadowed, all right? So we say that it's shadowed. Okay, so shadowed. Uh, passwords okay you don't see them so we do not see them as we type them okay so that's what I mean by shadow all right so I am in the system um, and so what I am going to do is to exit okay so I'm just gonna exit by the way um, you see that my prompt oh sorry yeah, so you see that my prompt is dollar sign and there is that tilde there, okay? That means I'm home. So if I do um, ls, then uh, there's currently nothing 
in my home directory. So I'm going to leave it here. That's the complete installation. So go on and watch the next lesson, next video, where I will talk about the fundamentals of using uh, the Linux file system.